Yo guys, how's it going? Mad Gas here. And this is just a really, really small update video just showing you some little improvements I've made to the map. I've enabled the lights for the perk machines now. And they look sexy. Uh, some dust coming from there. What the hell that is? I'm working on the Bible door system, but for some reason it seems to crash when I try and compile the map. So I've left it out of this little feature. There's a better look at the actual outside of the furnace area it looks pretty cool i was working on adding custom weapons as well so yes you can add custom weapons but i have not added any just yet this is the new area so there'll be a bible door here that is going to be a boarded up garage as you can tell it's boarded up but what we have in here is another spawn room that needs a lot of retexturing done get rid of these zombies so yesterday's video i showed you a route to power that i was working on and someone commented in the video said it'd be cool if i had some sort of sewer system so i took that idea on board we have Speed Cola behind this door, so we now have all four, four perks. We have Cook Revive, Speed Cola, Double Taps hiding over there, and Juggernaug at, spawn, at, at the power even. Uh, okay, right, so we're going down here. Uh, through this door, which will be an archway, will be all blocked off. And then down here into the sewer system, which, granted, needs a lot of work. But if you can kind of imagine it, where I'm coming from, so it's be like a trench sewer system. You go down here. And then there'll be another door here, which will take us out to power, which we can see just out through there. But I'll go around the other way and you'll get an idea of whereabouts it is. Good thing about this is I'm going to have to add some sort of like bridges across here because the zombies cannot cross this little area. It's actually pretty hard for the player to get up, so I'll have to make some sort of bridge system to get the zombies across. Oh, God, I nearly died. It's not good. That's not good. Come on, zombies, where are you? Right, okay. There's fire clipping through that wall there. That's insane. That's a lot of fire. Now this part, I don't really like showing like work in progress type stuff. But you guys want to see pretty much every step of the way of me creating this map. So that's what I'm doing. Right. Let me get up here. Get past that guy. Yep, so as usual, you go through the furnace. This still needs a lot of texture and, and detail on the walls. But for the most part, the furnace is pretty much, like, done, as far as I'm aware. What do you guys think of it? Do you think I could add anything else into here to make it look more cool? Well, I'll take the locust, because that's just not going to help. This is all going to get redone again. I need to retexture it. We have Jug, which is nicely powered up there. Got a weird glitch on the wall. Switch the power on. And this is the door that will take you to the sewers. So you go up there, and you'll be able to get through there into the sewer area, which goes all the way around and back and up to there. And this area above the sewer, I'll try and get back up top and show you exactly what I have in mind for this part. Move it or lose it, sister. Outside of here, when we go through this door, or you turn the power on, and this door will become open when you turn the power on, that door will drop down and reveal Ammomatic, which is an awesome little perk. Uh, yeah, so this area here, in front of here, is going to be an office, a three story office building. There'll be an alleyway here. You'll go through the office and out. And this area is going to be a wide open kind of training spot area. And over there, roughly above the sewer, I'm going to have another building, which is going to be... Ooh, invisible wall. Another building, which is going to be housing a teleporter, which will teleport you to a special place, but I'm not going to reveal exactly where it's going to teleport you to. So you just have to keep a close eye out for updates on this. But yeah, that is the update for today. Very, very rough editing going on right now. That room is horrendous. And obviously this all needs like closed off and stuff. But if I can keep up the same like style the way I've made this area and the inside of here, then I believe that this map will be pretty cool and I'm really enjoying playing it, even though it's like very, very early stages. But yeah, if you want me to continue to do more and more updates like this to show you exactly what goes on into these like mod tools and stuff just let me know in the comment section down below and yeah if you like this video please like it it really helps me out and comment what you think and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and as always continue to drop kick your grandma